from Amsterdam. My name is Ivana and I'm wearing my Indian Kurta again. Yeah, it feels so nice to wear it, unfortunately. It is not very common to wear this in the Netherlands, so I will be saving it for when I return to India again. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I went to India twice in 2000. 15 in 2016 and made like more than 70 daily travel vlogs about it and so many people right now are starting to ask me why do you love India so much I answered this question already once in the vlog very shortly very briefly so I decided you know what I'm just going to record a video about it for other people who might also want to visit India and might want to know why I love India so much and why this country is absolutely worth visiting. And also, I will just put this video down in the description below with the other Q&A. So if you have any questions, you can always check the description down below. There's a little Q&A to uh, get to know me a little bit better. I wrote down six reasons why I love India, but there are like probably hundreds. These are the most important ones. And if you want to know everything in detail, you should probably watch my India vlogs. Now, let's start out with number six. Ever since I was 15, I was very, very fascinated with Bollywood movies and with Indian music. It's just so specific, but it's always so beautiful. I don't know how they do it, but they always know how to, you know, translate real emotion. How would it what am I saying? Did I want to say real emojis into Indian music? I don't know. I mean, real emotions into Indian music whenever someone's happy, like the music, you can just feel it whenever someone's sad or heartbroken. It's just such beautiful music. The movies are also very, very specific, but there are usually like the ones that I watched. I have like a whole Road Back to India playlist with me watching Bollywood movies. They are usually so good, even though they last like usually for three hours or something. They're always entertaining and I love the visuals and the stories and it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm dramatic that I really love dramatic music and dramatic movies, but I really, really love the Indian entertainment industry. So that's number six. Number five is the diversity of the country. So... Sometimes they say India is like a continent. It's not even a country because it's so huge. You have mountains, you have beaches, you have palm trees in the south, you have like tigers in the north or in the west or like there is so much you can find in one country that I think it would take me a lifetime of traveling to see everything that India has to offer in terms of natural beauty. I would really, really love to see the mountains this time. Uh, so maybe Le and also Northeast India. Don't even start with me. I will literally say this in every single video because you guys are so intense. I will, of course, visit this time around. But the diversity of the country is something that keeps it really interesting for me because when you travel in India, the distances are very big, but still you get to see so much in one country. Moving on to number four, adventure. India is so different from the place where I live. I live in Amsterdam and of course in Amsterdam there is already a lot of ad adventure depending on what you're looking for. People always start about smoking weed and you know going out. The parties are amazing but once you've experienced that life, I don't smoke by the way and I don't drink so don't even start thinking that I smoke weed every day. I don't. Um, Amsterdam is a wonderful, fantastic place, but when I go to India, it's literally like I'm walking into a, a, a crazy adventure movie or something. There is always so much to see, like literally every corner of the street has some surprise for me. And I don't know, being in traffic in Mumbai is one of the most entertaining things that I have done in India. I know some people will think I'm really crazy, but for me, it's just fascinating to see someone on a bike and like massive packages. You would never see that in the Netherlands or in Amsterdam. There is just so much to see just walking around in the streets in India. I know like people will say, ah, oh, you're generalizing. India is such a big country. The North is different from the South. I know, I know, honey, I've been in the North and I've been in the South, um, but it, like the whole country has something different to offer in every place, but it's always one big adventure. So if you love adventure, India really is the best place to be. Reason number three, and I know probably some of you wouldn't expect me to put this on number three, but it really is number three, the food. I am so addicted to Indian food. It is insane how many varieties of vegetarian 
food you have. I'm vegetarian, so India is literally the easiest country for me to find food. Wait, let me rephrase that. To find delicious, mind-blowing, spectacular food. Paneer is my favorite dish ever. My nickname is Paneer Princess, in case you didn't know that, because I eat paneer almost every single day when I'm in India, and I'm able to do that because there are so many varieties of paneer. Also, dosa is, oh, it's bay. Like, literally, you can wake me up for paneer or dosa. If you're thinking about going to India... I don't know, start losing weight before you go because you will eat so much and yeah, you won't be able to resist it. I was a fit girl before I came to India. Then I came to India, I was just like, nope, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want because this food is too delicious. Number two, the reason that is more important to me than food, to love India, Indian people. Honestly, I have never met people who are so happy with whatever they have whether it's a lot or whether it's very little, it is so humbling to see how people live their life in India. People are so nice, so generous, so kind, so funny. Like having a conversation with any kind of person in the streets of India will just, I don't know, it will make me feel warm and fuzzy inside because you guys are so nice. Also, the hospitality is is incredible. I just met a man in the streets and he invited me in his home and like, like, I don't know, it's just amazing interacting with Indian people. Interacting with Indian people has taught me a lot about humbleness and about real happiness and the, the way Indian people live their life is something that has changed my perspective on life and has taught me to be happy with what I have because real happiness doesn't come from owning things. Real happiness comes from inside. You can be happy no matter what your circumstances are. And this is something I've really learned in India. Now, the number one reason, and I know this won't be important for other people as it is important to me, but this is something that is really, really important to me. I have rejected trips because of this reason. I have skipped countries because of this reason. And India has it. The absolute fantastic hot weather. Yes, that is my most important reason to love India. If you don't understand why this is so important to me, I love the heat. Like, things get warm for me from about 27 degrees. From 30 degrees, I start being happy and everything above makes me a very, very happy camper. I know this is not a good reason for a lot of people, but coming from a country that's really cold and where it rains like 80% of the time, being in hot sunny weather, it doesn't even have to be sunny, makes me so happy. Literally walking outside in a t-shirt and interacting with Indian people, eating Indian food is everything I need to be happy. So that's why um, India feels like home to me and that's why I love the country so much. I really, really can't get enough of it and I miss it so much in case you're wondering. Can't wait to be back in 2017 and I hope if you watch this video you understand why I love India so much. If you ever wondered if you should go to India, go. It is the most amazing fantastic place I have ever been. Even if you end up hating the country because some people end up hating it, I, I also can understand why, because India is extremely intense. If you cannot handle the crowds, if you cannot handle like the pace, like sometimes it's super fast and sometimes it's super slow, which for me is really funny. Like I love that, you know, that contrast. I, I understand why some people end up hating India, but it will definitely be the experience of a lifetime and something you will never forget. I don't think you can go to India without learning at least one life lesson. If you like this video, you can always put a thumbs up. And if you would like to travel along with me when I return to India, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.